Oh, we totally screwed that up. Let's try it again. Yes, yes, yes. What is good, my people? Welcome back to Computer Music Academy's weekly homework podcast. I am your host, Ty Shira Say. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Welcome to week 135 of the weekly homework assignment slash podcast. Shout out to my man, DJ Widebody, for that intro. Using that this week and next week, and then moving on to something else. Shout out to everyone that is watching tonight. First of all, I didn't want to do the shout outs necessarily early, but I have to. This one I have to call out. <clears throat> there is a legendary, and I mean that when I say that, a resident of Flint, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> and pardon, pardon me that just came through that I have done a few shows with and have a lot of respect for. My man Wu Child is in the building. Holy crap, dude. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. Thank you for everybody who has come through and hanging with us tonight. We do this every Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Facebook.com slash Computer Music Academy for the live show and the replay or playback, as we call it, will be on YouTube.com slash Computer Music Academy tomorrow, as well as ComputerMusicAcademy.com. Shout out to everybody that's here. Before we get started, I have to handle some business. I got to bring down the tone just for a second. Our man, my man, and, a, and CMA member, uh, E Hustle. He had a very, very tragic thing happen to him last week. He lost his grandson, uh, the youngest, if I'm not mistaken. And it was a very unfortunate, very tragic accident. I guess that's the best way to describe it. I refuse to repeat it. It's horrible. I don't ask. I don't ask a lot of the community or our viewers or our you know fans, however you want to say it, but Last year, you guys came through for me when I was deathly ill. I was very sick for almost a month. And a lot of people reached out and helped out monetarily. And it was cool that they helped us pay bills. I got back to health, as you can see, and I was able to continue. I don't like to ask uh, favors, but I'm asking one of you today. If you could, they really need help with expenses to for the funeral i'm actually publishing a post right at this moment if you can check out the post go to their gofundme and if you can throw them a few bucks to help them out he is one of our members he's one of the coolest cats one of the, the talented cats here at cma and i want to try to help him out as much as possible for the everybody that's watching this on youtube the Information is going to be down in the description, but if you're watching this live right now, scroll up and you can see the post that I just made. Please, if you can, only if you can, don't kill yourself, don't don't strain yourself, go help them out and show them some love, please. I would really, really appreciate that to help my mans out, because that's my dude. All right. Now, on to bring up the mood of the night, because it's going to be a very good night. What are we doing? Well, I hate to take it back to death or loss, but uh, 2016 has been a horrible year in that aspect of losing a lot of people that uh, we, we look up to, that we really appreciate in the entertainment field and, and as well as the other fields, uh, you know, education and, and politics, poetry, however it may be. And this year, right before CMA kicked off its year, we lost one of the greatest musical influences of all time. This dude, his catalog spanned decades, hundreds, if not thousands of songs and albums that he had influence. Yo, we had 
to honor this man. And I had to, we had to do it at a time that everybody would appreciate. So tonight we are honoring the great Maurice White representing earth, wind, and fire. And what I love about my people at CMA, especially this year, is everybody comes out when I put the call out. They come out and they show out. So now we have 10 submissions this week honoring Earth, Wind, and Fire, Maurice White, and all his greatness that he gave us before he left this earth. Before we go there, let's uh, give some shouts out, man. Shout out to Gemini 4D, Ray D, I'm sorry, uh, Ray Jean, Howard Knox is in the building. What's up, dude? Dixie Freely, DJ D-Man, Digger Hurts, Rod Wallace, a.k.a. Mr. Wallace, QB, Quentin Barrett, Locke Turnal, my wife Samaya, Basement Chemistry, No One You Know, RTO Beats. Shout out to a couple of new people, Brandon uh, Gillette, Gillette, thank you. Brianna Nicole, Brian Nicole. I have apologies if I got that wrong. Roy Shell Fields, Williams is in the house as well. 18th Dynasty, Miss Pam and Miss Lena is all in here. And if I miss you, shout out to Dav that just uh, checked in right now. If I missed you, my apologies. Make sure you like the post and share it. That way I can see your name because this chat sucks on Facebook. And uh, we would definitely give you a shout out before the end of the night. And once again, shout out to Woo Child. I see he just popped in like, oh, what would I miss? <laughs> All right, let me finish talking. Let me quit talking and get on with the night. Starting off with my man that I just called out, my dude, 18th Dynasty. <laughs> Eighteenth Dynasty, this guy coming through with his short ones as usual, minute and thirty seconds. <laughs> no hatred, all love for that. This guy told me he actually used Love's Holiday. Yeah, Love's Holiday for that particular sample, and I like it. I like it. It was very, you know what? Dynasty is a minimal cat, and he's very effective with the minimal amount of elements that he has in his songs. He's very, very good with it, very effective. So he actually had the main part that actually had like a small change up in there, but then it actually went to an, a completely different part of the song, a totally different sequence that I liked. Sounded like there was mostly just a sample. I I'm, I'm I, may, I need to go back and listen, but it, I'm not sure if there were actually other drums in there besides what was actually in the sample. Not complaining at all. Really enjoyed it. Definitely, you know, at Dynasty, again, he does what he does. He's very effective. He comes in, he 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 hits him, and he gets out. <laughs> very, very nice. So I like what you did with that, my man. Thank you for submitting, and thank you for hanging out with us in the chat this week. I see you, bro. That's, uh, what, two weeks in a row? All right, I see you. <laughs> thank you, sir. All right, we're going to go on over to the DMV. Holla at my dude who's back with us this week. He missed the week, and we should all... Get we should all come down on him because of that. We should all get on him because he missed a week. But anyhow, shout out to my man, 
basement chemistry. You are now listening to the sonic erotica that is basement chemistry. guy right here basement chemistry doing his thing week number 135 yeah he didn't actually tell me what uh he used he just eh, week 135 here you go <laughs> that's pretty much how it is yeah he just said all samples are ewf and that's cool nothing wrong with that but i like what he was doing there basement again he's that He's one of those people that has his own distinct sound. Nobody else at CMA or anybody else that I listen to their music, they don't say they, they, they he doesn't sound like them and vice versa. And I really appreciate that. But uh like the real, you know, basement is he's dirty. He's he's boom bap, you know. And I like the real dirty drums and samples he had in there and the different chops. I like the way it hit. For real, because it was like the drums f at least sounded a little over compressed and a little oversaturated, not in a bad way, in a in a in a, you know, the way to get a nice amount of crunchiness and distortion out of them sound real, really nice. And I like the way he does that. And that turned out very nice. I like the different it's a <clears throat> excuse me, a couple different change ups going on in there. I like the different vocal samples. He had like filters and crazy stuff popping off. I see you, basement. I see you, bro. You just can't miss any more weeks. I won't allow that. <laughs> Not happening, bro. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hey, you know what? My chat, the Facebook chat, absolutely sucks tonight. Shout out to Mrs. RTO who just checked in. Thank you for watching, Miss Lady. Uh, but yeah, the, the, uh, Facebook chat really sucks tonight, man. It's not keeping up at all. So I got to constantly refresh the the, uh, the uh, page so I can see everything. But uh, Mike Mosley checked in. What up to Blessed Girl? I see no one you know just checked in. Shout out to y'all. Thank you for watching tonight. 
All right, let's keep it what? Let's keep it going. Matter of fact, speaking of a dude that just checked in, let's go all at my man, no one you know. Yes, sir. This guy, no one you know, but you should know. <laughs> Let that be known. This dude has been wilding out as of lately. And again, let me let me take it back. He came to us. I would say late spring. So I would say at this point, he's probably went, been with us about three months, roundabout, and come in and, you know, he was doing okay in those first weeks, but now it's getting to the point where he's, he he is evolving, he is learning, he's doing much better things with his music now, and he's coming out with some great product, real talk. This Dre right here is very dope. Of course, that was... uh. That's the way of the world. One of my favorite EWF joints of all time. And man, I love the way he used that. A couple of different sections of that. Has some nice drums up underneath it and a, and a bass line, if I'm not mistaken. But then he had like some strings and some synths on top of it that worked perfectly. I really enjoyed that submission, bro. You are doing your thing. Please. Continue the momentum, I beg you. <laughs> you are killing it. Thank you, my man. Yo, shout out to Gadget who just checked in. My man, Ron B. Speaking of which, he's up next. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron B. We have to thank Maurice. Yeah, we sure okay. certainly do. Yeah, we have the, the founder and the leader who, who came up with the idea of Earth, Wind and & Fire. And, uh, when Maurice woke up one day and said, hey, guys, I'm no longer touring. How are we going to do this without Maurice? Mm -hmm. The big question was, would the public accept Earth, Wind, and Fire without Maurice? Yeah.
the phenomenal Ron B. <laughs> Woo, that joy, man. Whoa. Yo. <laughs> I'm almost speechless. He said uh, this was off of the second album of EWF or Earth, Wind & Fire. But he said he believes it's the first one with Philip Bailey. That might be true. Uh, and the song he used was Where Have All the Flowers Gone? Ron B doing what Ron B does. Killing it. Dog, where do we begin? I like the use of the uh the 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 interview part in the beginning. That was very cool and then it actually came into the song and it just built up until it you know, the intro of the song I should say and then it actually kicked in with the drums and all the music. But then this guy who is a nut by the way, he's out of his mind. Around the 120, I'm going to assume, we has that. Oh my God. He just dropped all the music out just to display that. That was dope. Holy crap. Brought it back, kept it going a little bit more, a couple more change ups, moving around some instruments, did the drop, uh, if I'm not mistaken, two more times. Or I should say two other drops. That particular drop was was one more time, and I think he had another one in there before that's that last one. This dude is clowning. He is back, and he is letting you know that. Ron B is a beast. Ron Beast from here on is how you will be known, sir. <laughs> Woo! Yo, that is very dope. Good to see you back to work, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. That was pretty incredible. Man, man, man. Let's get some shout-outs out, man. Who we got here? I saw, I saw a bunch of new people just popped in. That's crazy. Uh, Let's see who I have not spoken to yet. Johnny Fontaine. Thank you. Kalechi Brothers. Let's see. Thank you for coming through. Who else we got? I saw some other names. I'm not seeing them now. Slade. Well, <laughs> I was about to say his other name. Then I, okay, never mind. Slade, 5,000. My man. Thank you, sir. Davenport is in here. We already said what up the basement. Thank you. Thank y'all for coming through. Miss Brienne. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. This is looking pretty good tonight. Hopefully, y'all enjoying the show. And uh, let's keep it going. We're going to head on over to the DMV once again. Over to Merlin, as I like to call it. And holla at the dude. I'm a little afraid to listen to this one. My man, Ray G.
Ray Jean. This guy right here, yo. Ooh. I mean, let, let, let me admit something real quick. I am, or at least, well, okay, I'll say this. I'm very, very close. I'm like this far away from being burnt out on down south trap type beats. And every time I think I'm done, Ray Jean comes with something like this and, and brings me back. <laughs> he brings me right back, yo. Doug, what the hell? <laughs> Reasons by EWF, one of uh, probably Philip Bailey's most notable performance. I absolutely love that song. And then, like, if y'all remember, for those of us of age, the live version that they played on the radio. Oh, my God. That joint right there is just sickening. Absolutely sickening. But I love Ray Jean's use of that. Got the little joint in the beginning, a little intro type, you know, with the familiar loop, but then actually has it over some drums when the drums kick in, have, have that loop over drums, shortens it a little bit, then that plays for a few bars and he shortens it just a little bit more and then eventually just builds it up to this really, really, really dope song with all this instrumentation and he played over the... uh uh, uh, the the brass and everything that was already in the song, and he played his own. Very dope. Very great execution on this, my man. And again, every time I think I'm done with Trap Beats, because Trap has just been on the radio for so long at this point, can we have something else? And every time I think I'm, I'm, I'm there, every time I'm like at 99.5%, Ray Jean, like, nah, come on, bro. Come on, Tosh. Come on back, bro. Come check this one out right here. <laughs> my man. Thank you for that submission. That was very dope. My man. Yo, shout out to everybody that's uh in the chat. Uh, Howard Knox, I think I shouted you out. The chat is really stupid for me tonight. It is not keeping up with everybody, you know, with the with the, the current chat. It's not, you know, constantly moving. So I'm constantly having to free refresh. But if you have not already liked the post. And feel free to share it. Please let everybody know that we're here. And before the end of the night, I will make sure you get your shout out because I appreciate everybody that's coming through hanging with us tonight. All right, let's keep it going. I'm going to head out to the West Coast. Holla at my man who was actually the first person in the chat tonight. My dude, Gemini 4D.
Gemini 4D. My man. <laughs> he said he used a track called Evil from the uh, album Head to the Sky. Very nice. Added some other elements in there from some machine packs. He's a machine user. He's one of us. Ah, uh, yes. And he's one of the machine studio users. Ah, uh, yes. Is mine back there? Yeah, there you go. Boom. <laughs> so he's 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 part of the Legion. But this guy, man, he always comes through with some really dope joints every single week. He kills it. He does. This was no exception. I really like this one. This was very mellow compared to his other joints. He made it work. Like I said, I'm not really familiar with that particular track. At least I don't think so. I got to go back and listen to it. But I love how he used it. I love like the... He didn't have any really heavy drums, and that's cool. He let the sample and the, the instrumentation and the music breathe a little bit. That was very dope. I love the chops. Love the way everything played out in this particular one. Plus, uh, I think that was a Nas sample, talking about the story that was never told. Very, very dope submission, as always, my man. Love having you a part of the crew and definitely hanging out in the chat with us when you get an opportunity. We know you got a job, as most of us do. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. All right. Let's keep it moving. I'm about to head down south. Holla at my guy. Your guy. DJ Locturnal. Internal. External. Now listen. <laughs> DJ Lock Turno, that guy. <laughs> What the hell, man? <laughs> this dude clowned out on that one. That was dope. That was very dope. He said he used Diana by Earth, Wind, and Fire. And uh, you can hear it, but he he made sure to note that he mimicked uh, in the club, you know, the production that Dre did. Well, that we know that know of that Dre did for 50 Cent. And I like that because it's that boom, shock, boom, boom, shock. I like the clap that he used in there. Very similar to the in the, the club clap. And then the chops of the Diana track. Dog, are you serious? <laughs> Matter of fact, no one. Uh, he's saying, really, Locke? Really? <laughs> 
Yeah, that's about how all of us feel. This dude, while and out, had a couple of different sections where, well, a couple of different times where the beat just dropped out completely. And it's a nice little sustained delay on there and then bring it right back. That was dope. I like, like I said, the chops, all the different sections of the song that he used. And then even at the end, had a completely different part. Once again, good Lord, man, you beastly, absolute beast. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for being a part, man. Shout out to uh, Corey, who's over here. He's brand new, asking questions like, what the hell is this? How can I be involved? Well, <laughs> you'll find out before the end of the show. Just please, please hang around. And uh, Notori McGill, thank you for coming around. And uh, trying to see if there's anyone else that I haven't uh, shouted out just yet. Again, my chat, I don't know if it's just me, but my chat sucks tonight. I can't keep up with what, what's, what's going on in the chat. Uh, one more quick look. All right, I think everybody's good. All right, cool. We are good. Let's keep it going. Bring it back up to, to, to Detroit and holla at the guy. Matter of fact, before I go any further, let me go ahead and shout this out now that I got the information. Show Nuff, who's coming up next, has a project out. He just released probably about two or three weeks back. And it's very good. It's more of a jazz kind of gospel if that makes sense, but it's definitely more jazz. It's very spiritual, spiritual jazz. All instrumental, just a little bit of singing, but a lot of playing, a lot of really, really dope music. If you're interested in it, it is available at cdbaby.com. Simply put in the letters LB, which is the letters for his real name, LB, and the name of the album is From My Heart to Yours. CDbaby.com, look up LB from my heart to yours. Trust me, you will not regret it. Matter of fact, I have a post on the Facebook page. Feel free to feel free to scroll down and catch that catch it from there. But please support my man and let's take a listen to his submission for the week. Yeah. 
B, a.k.a. Show Nuff, doing his thing for 135. Yo, that was dope. <laughs> that was very dope. Now, before anybody trips, like, what the hell? What the hell was that? The assignment, yes, we are honoring the great Maurice White and Earth, Wind, and Fire. But the assignment calls for you using some of their music if you're a sample-based producer or if you are one of our more instrumentally inclined. There you go. Like that term. If you're one of those guys, you can create your own uh, you know, instrumentation tribute, instrumental tribute, and that was his right there. I really enjoyed that. I'm not sure if it actually, if the like the vocal parts. I'm not sure if that was actually from uh, an, an, an EWF song. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And to answer uh, no one you know who just asked, yes, he plays everything. He plays bass, he plays guitar, he plays the keys. If I'm not mistaken, he's a drummer as well. Dude is a very well-rounded musician. We kind of uh, are not worthy <laughs> to have him with us at CMA. Because <laughs> a lot of us use Push and Machine and MPC Renaissance and FL and blah, blah, blah. This guy comes through and just kills it with all this great music, this great instrumentation. Highly talented dude, man. Love show to death. Thank you for submitting that, my man. That was dope. And please go support his album. Please do that. All right, let's go back over to the West Coast. Holla at my dude who got in very early this week. Very early. My guy, RTO Beats. RTO. The fresh maker. Fresh maker. Fresh maker. Fresh maker. I RTO Beats, the Fresh Maker. <laughs> this guy, wallet out. 
I'm gonna start calling you Mr. Two Tone. <laughs> Cause this dude, as of late, all this year, if I'm not mistaken, he has like a very, very dope part of the first part of the song. Very dope. And it runs the majority of the song. And then he switches it up to something incredibly stupid at the end. This is no exception right here. This was dope. Cannot think of the name of the song right here. Cannot think of it. But I know exactly which song you use. Just listening to the different vocal chops and whatnot. Like, okay, I know exactly what that is. Just can't name it off the top. But <clears throat> that was dope. I really like how you use that, my man. I like, I don't know if it was because of the sample or he did it on purpose. There was guitars in the in in the sample and they seem to be pan pretty wide that was very dope the vocal chops and the use of the instruments that was already in there chopping that stuff and moving it around very dope drums and whatnot and bass lines very dope then this dude actually went in and played more keys on top of it come on dog that was sick very sick but then it gets to you know the little breakdown part he drops the tag a couple of times and then comes back in with this second part completely different drums if i'm not mistaken but that snare was so distinctive in that second part nice and crunchy i mean but pff, oh my god the, the the saturation on that joint sounded so Dope. So incredibly dope. RTO is a beast. The Fresh Maker, aka Mr. Two Tone. <laughs> My dude, thank you for that one. That was very dope. And now, closing out this week's episode, we're going to come back to Detroit and holler at my guy. Mr. Wallace. From Pimp's point of view, there's only one game. And the game is the worker and the work eating person. Then you either work or you work for somebody. And if you ain't if you ain't the boss, somebody pimping you. Somebody is moving you to get their paper. And you gotta know that. The key to being a hoe is just being a good hoe about it. Go ahead and get that money to you. Put yourself in that position.
that this pimp record label does not does love, not love, love, love that you are a hoe. That, that work like a real good hoe. That, that get the money, take the percentage, and put yourself in the position where you can pimp yourself. Kills it every time. Mr. Wallace, closing out episode 135 of the weekly homework assignment slash podcast. Man, listen. <laughs> this dude does not disappoint. It's, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> it's, I, don't, I don't know if that's even possible with Mr. Wallace. This dude does not disappoint. Shout out for that, my man. Major shout out. He said it was a dedication to his father and the floor shine shoes he used to wear to work every day. Actually uses Earth, Wind, and Fire's clover. Very dope. What's so funny about that is I worked at Sibley Shoes. For, for those who are underwear, it's a shoe store, homegrown in Detroit, uh, that ran for ooh, several decades, for lots of years. Uh, but they closed. This was probably about 15 years ago when they closed. But uh, and they had it was a chain within Detroit, with, within Michigan. So I worked there for three years and I worked at about five different stores from stock up to assistant manager. I, 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 so I'm definitely connecting with this particular song because or I should say at least the title, because Floorshine was, if I'm not mistaken, Sibley's uh, home brand. So shout out for that. And those are dress shoes. Very dope. Very high quality dress shoes. Very dope. Then he had the iced tea sample in there. Excellent choice. My man. Excellent choice. First of all, I'm a huge iced tea fan. And when dude drops game, he drops major game. So for this to be about what it's about, it's a man getting up every day, busting his butt so he can pay bills. And he uses, you know, and he's doing it within his shoes, his floor shine shoes. He's walking the track, so to speak. To have Ice T in this track explaining that to you, how it works, in, in the sense of record labels and whatnot, but it's but it definitely relates to this particular part of the game as well. Very dope usage of that. The sample itself, good lord. Very, very dope usage of that. I I admire Wallace's production. I I do. I know his process somewhat. At least I know what he's told us. And the way he gets what he gets is absolutely incredible. I love the way this song flowed, the breakdown, the different change-ups. Like I said, Ice-T back up in there. Dog, this was Joe, very, very, very dope. Very dope, my man. Yo, this, once again, was a very incredible episode. Shout out to Mr. Wallace, RTO Beats, Show Nuff, DJ Locturnal, Gemini 4D, Ray Jean, R, no, I'm sorry, Ron B, No One You Know, Basement Chemistry and 18th Dynasty. And shout out to everybody that hung with us this week. Before I go any further, to Mr. White, thank you for everything that you have done for us as a race, as human beings, as the culture, as fellow musicians. We appreciate everything you have given us and you have left us. Your legacy will live on forever. I'm a fan. I have been a fan since I was a child, as many of us. And I will continue to be a fan and support the EWF movement and family, everybody outside of them, forever. Again, thank you, sir. Rest peacefully. Let's get some shouts out, man. Let's get to everybody here. Basement Chemistry, Mike Notes, No One You Know, RTO, Dixie Freely, who couldn't be with us tonight, but he's hanging with us in the chat. What up, Gadget? Wade is here. DJ Locturnal, D-Man, CQ, Digger Hurts, J Mitch. What up, man? I didn't get a chance to holler at you when you first came in. Mr. Wallace, QB, Quentin Barrett, Jamari Mack, my dude. 
Slade 5000. BG, Blessed Girl, Howard Knox, Davenport, Ray Jean, my wife Samaya. What? What? Logic Bomb came and hung with us tonight? My man. Thank you, sir. Wu Chow, thank you again. Kevin Powell. Is that the Kevin Powell? I'm not sure. Thank you for hanging with us. Shout out to Shownuff who came through. My dude. Oh, Fat Von Free just came through. My man. Mrs. RTO. Charmaine, thank you for coming through and hanging with us. Disciple Die. Thanks for coming back, dude. He's been hanging with us a lot lately. Notori. McGill, Miss Tiffany, Brandon, thank you for coming through, sir. 18th Dynasty, Miss Brienne or Brienne. However, I, I, I don't like to mess up people's names because I hate my name messed up. So apologies if I got it incorrect. Johnny Fontaine, Kalechi Brothers, Royshelle Fields Williams, Miss Pam, Miss Lena. And I think I may have everybody. Let me switch. Through the different emoticons. Of course, of course, Digahertz put the mad icon. Hey, you should have participated, bro. <laughs> That's it, people. Thank all of you for hanging with us this week. It was another incredible week. We do this every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right here on Facebook.com slash Computer Music Academy. Shout out to Jay Bishop who just checked in. My dude. And if you would like to be amongst the great talent pool at CMA, get the training, get the benefits of being in the community, and just hang out with some really cool musicians, come on over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com and join us. It is that simple. I'm done for the week. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll talk to you next time. See ya!